Hello everybody and welcome to Coffee Break. In this series of videos I'll be taking some simple concepts and explaining them in 5 to 10 minutes so you get the most of your coffee break and learn something new. In the first episode I will be looking at a content dialogue in Uno platform and VNUI applications. Uh, here we have a very simple button uh, on a page in uh, XAML and we want, to, want the button to display a content dialogue when we click it. So in the code behind, in the click handler, I will create a dialogue. And there are actually two types of dialogues in Uno platform and VinUI. There is message dialogue, uh, message dialogue and content dialogue. Uh, I definitely recommend you to use content dialogue, not message dialogue, because a message dialogue is obsolete and is no longer properly supported. The main goal of it is to support the older applications that are ported from Windows 8. So for all new development, content dialogue is the way to go. So I will create a dialogue here and new it up. And in the uh, properties, we need to set something, some, some of the basic properties. So I will set the title, save changes, and the content, which will be the text underneath the title. So our And the content it can be anything. It can be a UI element, so you can put in some more complex UI. But for this simple example, I will just use this simple prompt. And uh, the dialog by default has no buttons. So there is no way to close it. Uh, so it's very important that you define also the buttons that will be displayed underneath the text. So I will say yes for the primary button and I will say cancel for the secondary button. And now we can also define what will be the default button. So the default button in this case will be a primary button. And the specific thing about default button is it has a different uh, style. So it has more prominent blue coloring. And when you press the enter, enter key, it will automatically press the primary button, uh, the default button. Finally, the important thing that uh, is often forgotten is to set the XAML root. So I will set the XAML root to be the same as the page's XAML root. And the reason this is important is that in WinUI, the dialog needs to know which window it's, it's supposed to display on. So uh, when you have multi-window application, uh, the XAML root helps the framework decide where to display. And if you don't set it, the dialogue will actually crash. So it's very important to have it set. So now we have the dialogue prepared and I will say var result and I will do await async. And now the important thing here is that to, to, for this to actually work, we need to have the button click event as async, which I have here. But also, we need to make sure that system namespace is included. So if you accidentally removed it or uh, your resharper removed it, you definitely need to add it because otherwise uh, there will be underline here and you wouldn't be able to compile. So now that this is here, we can now check what was the result. So if result uh, is equal to primary button, we will save changes and else we can do something else. So cancel the process or uh, revert the changes and so on. So this is a very simple code for displaying a content dialog in Uno platform. And now let's see uh, this thing in action. So I will run the Windows app. And when it shows up, we should have the button and when you click it, we get the dialog which asks us to save changes and we can select yes or cancel or press enter which will select the primary yes option. All right, so let's switch to see this same UI on mobile as well so I can prove you uh, this works. So I'll start it on Android emulator. Right, so the application is now running and I will click the button and we can see the same dialogue 
asking us to save changes, we can select yes or cancel. And because we are on a mobile device, we can also press the back button, which will cancel the dialogue. Finally, let's run the same thing on WebAssembly. So here we are in the browser and the application is running. And if I click save changes, we again get the same dialogue, which is asking us to save changes. We can press yes or cancel to dismiss it. So that's it from today's coffee break. I hope you enjoyed it and you can subscribe to get notified about future coffee break videos or all other content that I will be publishing. So thank you for joining and see you next time. Bye bye.